Our exhortation this morning comes from Philippians 2, verses 5 through 8. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men, and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Palm Sunday is a great opportunity for us to reflect on what taking dominion actually looks like. When Jesus rides into Jerusalem on the back of a donkey, the crowds rejoice and wave palm branches, shouting Hosanna to the Son of David. However, by the end of the week, they are calling for his crucifixion when they realize that Jesus was not the Caesar-like king that they had hoped for and that his kingdom was very different from the one they, they had imagined was coming. When Paul tells us to imitate Christ, he is specifically telling us to imitate him in his humility and death, not the kingly qualities the Israelites were looking for, and often not the king, kingly qualities that we ourselves want to strive for in our own lives. But it was only through death that Christ received his kingdom. This is why he humbled himself in obedience to death, even death on a cross. This was the nature of his kingdom. And this is how you build a Christian nation. We rightly want to see our community, our nation, and the whole world become Christian. But often in our post-millennial zeal, we want to see it right now. But post-millennialism is not a short-term strategy. It is the long game. And the rules are simple. Humble yourselves in obedience to God's word and die to yourself every day. Now, I didn't say the rules were easy, but they are simple. Post-millennialism, at its core, is the daily plotting of humility and death. Day in and day out. Year in and you're out. The kingdom grows through faithful worship, and victory comes in choosing obedience over our selfish desires and our sinful proclivities. So men, stop giving yourselves to distractions and invest in your family. Lead them spiritually. Give them your time. Love your wives as Christ loves the church. Women, honor your husbands. And make your homes a sweet place to be. Stop dreaming of a trad wife ideal and just be faithful with what God has given you at this moment in time. And if you don't have a family yet, or a marriage family yet, practice on your own family, your, your, your parents, your siblings, your friends even. Serve them. Put their needs before your own. Lay down your lives for one another as Jesus did for you. This is what true dominion looks like.